Glass over goes the on top. shoulder. Glass goes on top. Oh, wait. So, yes. so flip. Flip. And shake <laughs> over your shoulder. All right. All right. Season's greetings, foodie fam. It's Kezi and Rakesh, and this is what you're drinking. Today is all about a Sorrel Collins using Tanqueray Gin. So let's get shaking. So it's Christmas. You see I got my ears? That's right. I'm ready for them and we are ready with this lovely recipe. So tell me, what are we making exactly? How are we doing this? Well, we are making our Collins, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, well, the initial Collins, uh, it was made with Old Tom Gin. Mm -hmm. But today we'll be using a London Dry Gin. So we'll be using especially our Tanqueray Gin and I'm so excited. Love it. Now, uh, unlike Old Tom Gin, which was more sweetened gin, mm -hmm. The London dry drink we are using today is drier and more aromatic. But okay. a Collins is very simple to prepare. Okay. Once you remember some fundamental, you know, steps. Okay. So first is our base spirit, which of course is our London dry gin. Right. Then we have our sour element, which mm -hmm. is fresh lemon juice. Okay. Our sweet element, normally it's simple syrup. Mm -hmm. However, we'll be using a sorrel syrup today. Yum. Mm -hmm. All right. And obviously we're going to top with some club soda. Okay. But we're going to put a little spin to this cocktail because uh, after we have prepared the cocktail, we're yeah. going to fancy it up a bit. <laughs> so we're going to mist it with some nice I orange like bitters. <laughs> and obviously our garnish would be a nice orange twist yeah. with a dehydrated sorrel. Okay, what am I grabbing first? Okay, so first you're going to grab your mixing glass. Mixing glass, check. Right. And obviously your London dry gin. Yes, our tanqueray. Mm -hmm. So you're going to put one and a half ounces of gin inside there. And that's in this one, That's correct? your jigger, that's right. All right. So I'm going to remember how you taught me. Straight up, all, right. all the way in. And you go right up. And you just right. roll into your glass. And just roll in. Very good. Thank you very so, much. So the gin comes back. So that's our base spirit. Base in. And then we're going to go with our sour element. All right. And the sour now, element. Most, most recipes call for one ounce, but mm -hmm. we're going to go three quarter ounces. Okay. All right. So we have three quarter ounces fresh lemon juice. Sure. And then we're going to work with now our sorrel syrup. I love that we're and getting seasonal. Kessie, just to let, let, let you know as well as the mm -hmm. audience know that when we made this syrup, yeah. we used honey. All right. And it was infused with clove. Okay. So in keeping with, you know, Christmas traditions here in the Caribbean and Trinidad. Mm -hmm. All right, so we made a nice sorrel syrup. So straight in? So we're going to use one ounce. Yes, that's it. All right, straight in. Very good. And guys, we also have a great sorrel, a regular sorrel recipe on our foodie website, so be sure to check that out. But back to the college. So let me assist you here. So let me just top up that mixing glass with some ice. Mm -hmm. So I know when you put ice, it means it's shaking time. It's shaking time. I'm excited. I'm, I'm a wizard the shaking thing now. I can do it. And we want to make sure we have sufficient ice there. Okay. All right. And now you're going to use your tin. Yeah. And so we put that guy on. All right. And you just give hold your glass and just a little tap. A little tap. Right. And mm -hmm. glass over goes on top. Over the shoulder. Glass goes on top. Oh, wait. So, yes. so flip. Flip. And shake <laughs> over your shoulder. All right. All right. There we go. Let's go. And count your slow 10. Whilst you're doing that, I'll get some fresh ice for you. I'm counting in my head, guys. All right. Trust me. Take your time. Take your time. This feels like 10. Is that a 10 for you? That's it. <laughs> so let's see how we be, remember. We hold this now. We have yes. to make sure. So at least one finger on the glass. Okay. A little tap. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. And now you're going to double strain into your glass. Double strain. Remember how to double strain? So we grab this That's guy. That's your hawthorn. He goes here. On your tin. Correct. Right. And we grab this guy. Right. And, and I hold some, here. That's right. Well, I, I, I'm left-handed, guys, so <laughs> forgive me. And Push you do forward. your double pouring. And we right there? That's right. In the middle. And I keep it in the middle. Yeah. Okay, stop right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Put your strainers together. Okay. So we do this. Right. Handles together. So Handles together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yay! And now you're going to apply your club soda. All right. So that's here. And we just pour in. All right. And you're just going to pour right at least half inch before we reach the nib. And there we go. A little thing again. A, a little thing again? A little thing. Up. <laughs> All right. And now you're going to do a gentle stir. Gentle stir. Got it. All right. <laughs> this ice is making it so Can you assist 
closest to me. All, all this right. ice. We'll do. Just, just, just a little stir. Gentle stir. Thank you. All right. Fray to throw the ice of the glass. Okay. And now, Kezi, just our lemon twist. All right. So we have the garnish here. Right. Mm -hmm. Middle. And we set him right there. Yes. Is that good? Very nice. And now you will take your tongue and you garnish with a dehydrated sorrel peel. Look how cute, guys. And we stick that boy in the... <gasps> Perfect, too. Thank you. But, Kezi, we are not finished. So, what, what's left? what we're going to do is do some misting. Oh, this is where All we right? get fancy. We get a little fancy. So, okay. you know, it's like putting on deodorant. All right? So <laughs> a little we just, aroma? We just, just a little aroma. Just a little mist. A little twister here. Mm -hmm. So, it means, obviously, when this drink is served, yeah. we get full aroma. Okay. All right? It opens the palate, mm -hmm. and obviously it's very mouth-watering. And it just looks good. It, it just looks, looks good, excellent. and it obviously should what? Taste good. It should taste So is this my time to taste? I would think so. Okay. Right. Cheers, guys. Mm. Crisp, <laughs> cool, refreshing. I love that hint of sorrel that we get going through there. This is the perfect drink. So when on Christmas am I serving this drink? Well, this makes a perfect drink around lunchtime. Okay. All right. So it means, therefore, you know, you're having that Christmas lunch of yours. Mm -hmm. Goes well with the sorrel tradition. With the whole spread when you're serving the ham, lamb, and the jam, <laughs> this is for the lunchtime. And but Kezi, it's very easy to prepare. It I mean, guys, it was that easy and we did it. Thank you so much, Rakesh. You're I welcome. loved it. Guys, Sorrel Collins, Tanqueray Gin, perfect, perfect, perfect combination. So be sure, of course, to pick up a bottle of that Tanqueray Gin at Naughty Grape. Be sure to check us out, Foodie Nation, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, and what else? YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, guys, bye bye. Take care.